Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video. To send the activation code, I will use Gmail. If you prefer a different provider, please just this time use Gmail, so we all take the same steps. After you create your Gmail account for this course, then open your .env file, and we will set up the Gmail account for this project. So this is where we do the setup, right here. However, you need to know what to put here in order for this to work. This is why I said to create a Gmail account, because Yahoo, for example, has different configurations. So go on Google and search for Gmail SMTP settings. Open the support.google link and here we have all the information needed. First, I will copy the mail host, which is this one, and paste it inside here. Now the port for SSL is 465 and if you're using TSL it is 587. In my case I don't have SSL so I will use 587. Now the username is your email address, so in my case it is devlobsentinel at gmail.com and the password is your gmail password. And the last step is the mail encryption, in our case it is TLS, because as I said, I don't have SSL. So this is all what you need, you have successfully set up this project with Gmail. Now back to the registration controller, and I will create a new private function that will be used to send an email. Of course, you can use different ways for this, for example, you can create event listeners to send an email, or even notifications, which is a new feature in Laravel 5.3. But we will go through that in the Laravel series and not here. So I will create the function, it will be a private function, send email. For this, we will need to pass a user and the activation code. Now to send an email, we will use the mail, so make sure you import it, use mail, and we will use the function send, so mail send. The first parameter is the view, so inside the resources, views, I will create a new folder, emails, and inside emails I will create a new view file, activation.blade.php. Activation is the HTML template, which means that you can have this as you want. You can change the style, you can do pretty much anything. For example, I will use an h1 here to display hello. And below, I will create a paragraph to display the message. Please click the following link to activate your account. Now, inside the href, we have to specify the URL. If you take a look at the .env file, you can see that we have this app URL here. We just have to change this a bit, so we have to add the port. In my case, the project is running at port 8000, so I can set this with colon 8000. Now back to activation. We can access this with env and the key, app underscore URL. After that, we need a slash and then activate and then the user email. So user email and after the user email, we need the activation code. So again, code. For the message here, we can just say activate account. The template is ready, but as you can see, we are using user and code. So we need to pass them to the template. And this is what the second parameter is. So the first parameter was the view emails.activation. And the second parameter is an array. So let me create this. So we are using user. As you can see here, I have user because this is what we do here. We are using user. So the same will be for the code right here. So back to this user will be the user that we create. And then code will be code. So we are pretty much using this user here and this code here. 
Now the third and the last parameter is a closer. So function message. We want to send this message to the user's email address that the user used upon registration. But to have access to this user here, we need to use it inside the closer. So use user like this and the curly braces since this is a function. So we want to send the message to the user. We can say message to, and then we can use the user email address. We can also set up the subject of this email. So message again, subject, and we can say something like hello, and then user first name, activate your account. Do not get confused, these are double quotes, not single quotes. Okay, so time now to call this private function here, send email. I will go down here and I will say this, send email, and then we pass the user and the activation code. By the way, this is how you can access the activation code inside activation that we created. So yeah, everything is ready and now it is time to test this. So for this case, we need a real email so we can get the activation code. But don't worry about it, you don't have to create a new email again. Just Google temporary email and go to the first link. So this will give you a temporary email that we can use as a real email to get the activation code. But before I do it, we have to restart the server. We do that because we made changes to this .env file here. So yeah, I will close this one. And again, I will run PHP Artisan serve. So now that we restarted the server, we are ready to test this application again. So the email in my case, it is this one. So I will copy this. The name is Renato. I will just add my personal information. You can use yours. The password is secret. And finally, we press register. So if everything was correct, then you should receive an email as I have here. Otherwise, if you had errors in the process, then make sure you change the email by clicking delete and then use the new email that you will be provided to create the user. Anyway, as you see here, we have the subject and if I click on this email, we have the content. So this is the content that we had inside the activation.play.php file. Now, if I click this link, the activation has happened and we are redirected now back to the login. But let's make sure we are now activated. So I will go to the users. So user with ID 1, in my case, is now activated. So yeah, right now with the end of this video, you have a full authentication system. However, don't worry about it. We have a lot more to cover in the next videos.